الحمد لله الحمد لله العلي العظيم والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد بيده الخير يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم إن زلزلة الساعة شيء عظيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون أما بعد في هذه الأيام المباركة يتحدث الناس عن الهجرة ونحن اليوم نلقي نظرة على الهجرة In these blessed days people speak of Al-Hijrah and today we shed some lights on this great and pivotal event in history. Al-Hijrah was not one event. The Prophet did not wake up one day and decided to do Al-Hijrah. Al-Hijrah was a process that took place over a period of time. And as you will see, that process can be specified by dates and a sequence of events in those days. I would claim that the process took place in a period of over two years. To be more specific, the process of Al-Hijrah, its plan and its events took a process took a time span of two years plus two and a half months that culminated in the hijrah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. And the hijrah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam did not take place as many might think or believe, did not take place in this month, Al-Muharram, but took place actually on the 26th of Safar, the next month, the second month of the Hijri calendar. So what were the events of the process of Al-Hijra? Those were events that in my view, we should look at their meanings and their significance rather than just reiterating actual developments and reiterate things that took place without realizing their deep, their deep meaning. I have long, long spoken of the need for the Muslim Ummah to realize that it will not success until it finds the right blend between two things. We often ignore one of them. These two things are reason and faith, mind and iman. The process of Al-Hijrah, in my view, is a great example a great realization 
of a beautiful blend, a genius blend of Allah wal Iman, reason and faith. Planning by the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Planning by reason, supported by revelation and support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when the divine intervention is needed. I can name four steps, four stations, four landmarks along the trip of Al-Hijrah. It was many events, but I name four. The first took place in Mawsim al-Hajj of the 11th year Min al -Nubuwa. The Hajj in those days was performed by the non-Muslims. They performed Hajj in their distorted way. They would come from all of Arabia, particular, particularly from Al Madina. And to give you a quick Google map of the area, Mecca is nearly in the center of the west of Arabia. Where is Al Madina? To the north. A trip of several hours by car, several days by camel. It is a strategic place between Mecca and Asham, a strategic place on the trade route and a strategic place for the trips that take place for two reasons, pilgrimage in Mawsim al-Hajj and trade, particularly in the summer. The first event in the sequence of Al-Hijrah was when among the people that came to do the pilgrimage, six of them who came from al Madina became in the delegation, the group of non-Muslims. They decided to take the Shahada and become Muslims. Six individuals became Muslims. They promised the Prophet والسلام, that they will spread his message in Al Madina. That is the beginning of the spread of Islam. That is the beginning, the nucleus of the Muslim nation. Six people in the 11th year of Al Nabu. The second station you hear about was. It took place in the following Hajj season, in the year 12, after the beginning of an -Nubuwa. In the year 12, five of the original six of the previous year came, and with them an additional seven. A total of 12. Remember these numbers. The 12th year after an and 12 men that came and gave the Prophet Bayat al Aqabatil Ula. Al Aqaba pledge. The previous year called it the promise. The promise in two meanings. The promise, the verbal promise that the six people gave to the Prophet. Call it the year of the Prophet. Second year of Bayat al Aqabat al Ula. Call it the year of the pledge. Twelve people gave a pledge to the Prophet. What did they pledge? 
to the prophet. They asked, what do we pledge to you? He gave them a summary that explained the soul and the spirit of the Muslim value system, the Muslim faith and the Muslim value system. Not so much in the religious sense, but in the behavior sense. He said, Ta'alu bay'uni, come and pledge to me that you shall not take partners with Allah, that you shall not steal, you should not, shall not commit sexual violations, you shall not kill your children, you shall not come with falsehoods and claim it is the truth. You shall not disobey me in ma'roof. Any one of you that commits a violation and is punished for it in this life, it is a kafara that drops it for him and relieves him and waves punishment for him in the hereafter. And if you commit any sin in this life and you are not noticed, Allah chooses to cover your privacy. It is up to Allah to punish you or to forgive you. That is the pledge of Bayatul Aqbatil Ula in the year 12. Add one year in the next Hajj season was another event that you know about. Bayatul Aqbatil Thaniya. The number increased. The number of Muslims. First were six then became 12, then became 70 plus. 70 plus people, they chose Islam. And they asked among themselves, how long are we going to leave the Prophet to these mushriks of Mecca? Meaning, it is time we support him. It is time for the greatest alliance in history. Bayatul Aqabat Thaniya. They still did not announce themselves to the mushriks whom they came with. So they decided to meet the Prophet alayhi salam in secret. They chose a day of the middle day of Ayyam al Tashriq, the third day of what we know as Al Ain. And they waited until the third part of the night passed. They went to the place of Al Bayah, and that was Al Aqaba, Fi Mina, where the first Jamra is, Jamratul Aqaba. They went, and the Prophet joined them and they brought with them concentrated on their leaders they brought one of them and some discussions and negotiations took place in the form of this pledge and they decided after things were clear to take the pledge to cement the alliance. What was it on? Alaman ubayyuaka ya Rasulullah. Taqal. Ala al-sam'i wa al-ta'a. Fi al-nashati wa al-kasr. Al-bayah is on. You listen and you obey at all times. وَعَلَى النَّفَقَةِ فِي الْعُسْرِ وَالْيُسْرِ And to spend فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Under all, all conditions, 
easy or hard. وَعَلَى الْأَمْرِ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَالنَّهْيَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ You know this. وَعَلَى أَنْ تَقُومُوا فِي اللَّهِ لَا تَأْخُذُكُمْ فِي اللَّهِ لَوْمَةُ لَهِمْ And that you stand strong in support of the cause of Allah, not fearing anyone or anybody or any force or any power. And here comes the key word, the word that made history. وَعَلَىٰ أَن تَنْصُرُونِي إِذَا قَدِمْتُ إِلَيْكُمْ And that you shall support me if I come to you. If I leave this town, Mecca, and come to you in Al-Madina. وَتَمْنَعُونَنِي مِمَّا تَمْنَعُونَ مِنْهُ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَأَزْوَاجَكُمْ وَأَبْنَاءَكُمْ وَلَكُمُ الْجَنَّةِ You support me if I come to you and you protect me as you protect your wives, your children, yourselves, and if you do so, you have Al-Jannah. And on this was Al-Bayah. And that was the foundation of what you now might call the Alliance. That was the third station. The fourth and last station that I, I will mention is the beginning of the execution of this ingenious plan and blessed plan because it was supported by revelation from Allah to the Prophet after having cemented this alliance the Prophet knew it is the time to allow the Muslims to begin Al-Hijrah. And so it were in small numbers the Muslims of Mecca started to immigrate to Al-Madinah. The Mushriks know it and they realize what it means. The two sides realized the strategic importance, the religious importance, the trade importance, the great consequences that can follow when the Dawah moves from Mecca and heads north to Al Madinah on the road to Hashem, on the road to the Roman empire and so it was that was when that was in the Hajj season of the 13th year the 13th year after the beginning of Nabuwa for two and a half months from that point the Muslims were trekking over to the north. The Prophet والسلام, still in Al Madinah. The Mushriks are looking and wondering what to do until it was time for the immigration of the Prophet والسلام, which took place in a day that started by what's known as al ijtimaa the meeting, fi darun nadwa the morning of the 26th of Safar, of the 14th year, after an started with al ijtimaa 
fi dar nadwa by the kuffar of Quraysh. And on the same day, at night, after the nightfall, it was the hijrah, the beginning of the blessed hijrah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. And that is another story, not today's story, but we can only say that it was the event that started the turn in history that we now celebrate. Astaghfirullah, yaghfir lakum. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, wa ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah, wa ahdahu la sharika lah, wa anna muhammadan abiduhu wa rasuluh. Amma ba'd, to reiterate, when we celebrate al-hijrah, let us look into its meaning. Let its meaning does not escape us. <coughs> Let us learn from it the wisdom of the Prophet and the blessing of the revelation. And th let this be our guideline in our lives as we commemorate this great event. This great event that we can say that it started the Muslim Ummah. It started the building of the Muslim Ummah on solid foundation. Started to give to the world a great way of thinking, a great way of behavior, a great way of governance. <coughs> and let this be the light that shines on our road as we proceed and as we live in all our days under the light of the wisdom of this event and the blessing of its value and its blessings upon the Muslim Ummah and the world. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Allahumma aghfir lana wa arhamna wa aafina wa aafu anna wa aqbalna wa taqabbal minna wa man astataa minkum an yasuma yawman aw yawmain fi dhikra aashura the tenth of hadha al month the tenth only or the 10th and the 9th, or the 10th and 11th, Faryafal, choose what you feel comfortable with. Taqabbal Allah wa aqim salah
استقيم ورحمكم الله الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يا أيها المزمل قم الليل إلا قليلا نصفه أو انقص منه قليلا أو زد عليه ورتل القرآن ترتيلا إنا سنلقي عليك قولا عظيما إنا سنلقي عليك شيئا عظيما إنا سنلقي عليك قولا ثقيلا إن ناشئة الليل هي أشد وطأ وأقوى مقيلا إن لك في النهار سبحا طويلا الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين إن لك في النهار سبحا طويلا واذكر اسمك واذكر اسم ربك وتبتل إليه تبتيلا رب المشرق والمغرب لا إله إلا هو فاتخذه وكيلا واصبر على ما يقولون واهجرهم هجرا جميلا الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله <تصفيق>